Hi there, Librarian Brenda here again at Yorkton Branch with Episode 6 of Books with Brenda. Today we will be talking about books for young adults or teenagers. We will be joined by a special guest, too. Tigers Not Daughters by Samantha Mabry. Tigers Not Daughters is the tale of four sisters who feel the weight of their town bearing down on them, the loss of their mother, their shiftless father, and try to escape. A year before, the oldest, Anna, fell out her window to her death as she gazed longingly out the window. Part ghost story and entirely magical and poetic, Samantha Mabry's Tigers Not Daughters weaves a spooky tale as it examines how each of the sisters cope in the aftermath. There's troubled Jessica, who tries to keep the memory of their sister alive by wearing her makeup, but punctuates her emotions with aggression. There is also Iridian, who claims Anna's books, finding comfort in writing, and Rosa, who has a special kinship with animals and living things. After Anna's death, there are echoes of her laughter and strange writing on the walls of their house. Why has she come back to haunt the sisters? The Torres sisters love each other fiercely, that is certain. The novel has been compared to Little Women because of the sisters who share unbreakable bonds doing anything they can for each other. In the truck, on the way back to San Antonio, crammed between Rosa and Jessica, Iridian chewed on the end of her braid, sucking up the dust and the bitter smell of oranges. This quote gives you a sense of the comfort Iridian draws from her sisters, and some anxiety, as well as the hot desert setting of Texas. To sum up, the book is a spooky, poetic, and lyrical look at sisterhood and grieving, and I would highly recommend it. And now, for our next book, I'm introducing our guest host, Beck. Deep in the woods, off the paths, lies the home of master inventor Nicholas Claus, who is long thought to be dead. He has lived in peace for many years, and then his spirited granddaughter Teen comes to visit. Along the way, she saves a seemingly innocent messenger from a trio of piggish brothers and accidentally tells him where she is going. The messenger arrives at Claus's home and is revealed to be the villain Andre Lelou, who works for an enemy of Claus and is willing to kill T and her friends, or the inventor himself, to get the plans for a new machine that could change the world. T and her friends Ellie and Richie will try to help her grandfather, but will they succeed? Because the organization that used to keep Claus and his associates safe is now losing its power and may soon cease to exist. If you enjoyed the Land of Story series by Chris Colfer, which I also highly recommend, then you may enjoy The Yellow Hoods by Adam Dries, a Canadian author. The first book in a series of five, The Yellow Hoods, Along Came a Wolf, is a retelling of the story of Little Red Riding Hood with a steampunk theme throughout. The rest of the series follows the same theme. Enjoy reading. Thanks. Thank you for watching Books with Brenda. I want to acknowledge Samantha Mabry and Adam Dries, authors, publishers, Algonquin and ADZP, and lastly, guest host Beck. Until next time, thank you.